Do you know that the crypto you've got in your Metamax wallet and Trust wallet or any other type of wallet could vanish anytime if you do not know whether it is locked in a liquidity pool and for how long it is locked in that liquidity pool. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to know if your token is locked in a liquidity pool. This is important to avoid getting robbed. So this is not the only metric but it's a very important thing that you need to consider before you dive into a particular project so the first thing you want to do is to come to coin market gap and decide which of the tokens you want to investigate in this case i'm going to be researching the evergrow token to see if it is locked in a liquidity pool and for how long to do this what you're going to do is to come to this place where you've got the contract of this token you're going to copy it so you're going to come to this website right here, the poolcoin.app website. And once you're here, you'd have to paste the contract address you copied earlier uh, here. And then this is going to show. So once this is showing, okay, so you are going to come to this place right here. We can see that in the pancake swap version 2, we've got over $3 million in that place okay we can also see that in pancake swap version 2 evergrow is also paired with busd and this is the total amount of money in that liquidity pool and this is the total amount in this liquidity pool so what you would want to do is to go to the one that has got a lot of money right so this one here has close to four million dollars right so we're gonna go to where it says holders so we're gonna click on that right there so that brings us to this place right so what you're gonna do is to check the wallets to see the percentage of the evergrow token in those wallets okay so you can see this one has got 62.53 percent right this one has got 31.83 percent so what you're gonna do is to pay attention to the wallets that have got this symbol right so these are the wallets addresses of a smart contract right so basically the one i'm going to be paying attention to is the first wallet the one that's got 62.5 percent okay but if you're actually researching this crypto so you might want to pay attention to every detail so you research this one and you research this one so let's go to the wallet that has this 62.5 percent which is basically this wallet right here so what you're gonna to have to do is to click on this wallet and once you I've clicked on that wallet so that's gonna bring you to this place so what you want to do is to scroll down to this place right so when you are here you can see that there are a lot of addresses down here you can see a lot of addresses so it says lock 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 so you can see these are the addresses where this evergrow token is locked right Tells you for how many days ago right here these tokens have been locked 219 days 14 hours ago 214 20 hours ago and so what you're gonna have to do is um, kind of pay attention to each of this wallet okay so let's uh, pay attention to maybe the last wallet let's start with the last wallet right so I'll go to this last one here so once you click on that that's gonna bring you to a page like this so you're gonna scroll down and come to where it says click to see more right you're gonna click on that so that's gonna show you more information. So now you're gonna pay attention to the thing here. This is very important that you understand the process. So it says here function, and then it says lock, and then you have this address owner, comma. So you're paying attention to how many commas, okay? So this one says owner, comma, right? Then this other one says address token, comma. That's the second one. Then it says bull uh whatever it says comma and then you need 256 amount comma so you're paying attention to the commas and then the final thing you want you're actually trying to pay attention to is where it says unlock date okay or maybe unlock time so you count how many okay commas before you got to the unlock time so this is one the second one this one this is the third one and this is the fourth one and then the fifth one so this is basically the fifth one and the last one so what you would want to do is to scroll down and start counting okay so this one is the first hexadecimal which is the first and this other one is the second so you will scroll down till you get to the fifth so this is the third this is the fourth and this right here is the fifth even though it says fourth but it's the fifth right following from the way i showed you should count it okay so this is the one you're going to be copying right so you copy this 
so i'm gonna hit the copy button right there so that's copied once you've copied this so this is a hexadecimal digit right so, so what you would want to do is to read this right to make this thing plain so you're gonna come to this website gonna be linked in the description or you can pretty much go to google and search hexadecimal to decimal converter on google and there are a lot of websites okay so if you want this one i'm using it's gonna be linked in the description so you come here and paste the hexadecimal digit you just copied a while ago and then you're gonna paste it in here so the moment you paste it you are going to hit the convert button and boom that converts it to this digit right here okay so you hit that it converts it to this digit right here so you're gonna copy this decimal number now this decimal number is a timestamp that you are going to have to paste somewhere else so you copy this one so the next thing would be to come to this website unistimestamps.com okay it's going to be linked in the description so this is the website where you would have to paste the decimal number you just got from the hexadecimal numbers and then you paste it here so the number basically is a timestamp that you are going to paste here and convert it and then it's going to give you some information about uh when the token is going to be unlocked right so you paste it here so it's pasted now so you're going to hit the convert button and boom you can see right here it shows three months so where it says relative that's where you want to pay attention to where it says relative so you can see it says in three months so if you come here and you see three months ago that means that um, it was unlocked three months ago so because it says in three months that means it yet it is yet to happen so the token in that wallet address is going to be unlocked in three months you can come here and see something like in two years or in one year or in eight days or in five days okay so if you remember vividly this was the address we checked okay so the liquidity in this address would be unlocked in three months time so you can do the same thing to this you can do the same thing to this also you can do the same thing to all of them to know for how long they are going to be unlocked so and um you can also go back and check this other wallet here right this was the one we checked right the one with the 60 uh 2.5 percent right this one right here so you can also check this one because this one is also a bit uh high right so that's how you check the tokens in the smart contracts okay so remember i said the wallets to be checking are the wallets that have this symbol here okay so those are the wallets that represent smart contracts okay these ones okay and um you want to check it if it has a higher percentage basically so this is one way you can check to know for how long the liquidity pool of your token is locked okay so you might be saying why is this important it is important because the owner can actually go to pancake swap okay and uh, withdraw the tokens in the liquidity pool and if that is done the token in your wallet will be worthless that's exactly what we call a rock pool now this is not the only way a rock pool can actually be pulled out right this is not the only way it can be carried out there are other things that can be done okay so you might be asking what would be the right thing to see while investigating this wallet okay the answer to that question is you want to see that uh, the token is locked for at least a year or two years okay if it is locked for six months that's risky if it's locked for three months that's risky you want to see that it's locked for up to about a year to two years right so that would give you some confidence to go into the token knowing that uh, they wouldn't pull the rugs anytime soon okay if you want to know a much easier way of knowing whether the liquidity pool of your token is locked and for how long it is locked make sure you watch my next video because i'll be showing that in my next video make sure you're subscribed and share this video among your friends this is brixel bees and is a guy ken signing out